And so what's on offer here with, uh, with the Balanced View training is, is, a, is education in the nature of mind and um, getting to know that about ourselves that's forever open, at ease, clear, um, beneficial, innately, naturally beneficial and really training up this recognition, our fundamental nature, the fundamental nature of our mind and uh, training this up so that this is apparent and obvious to us in all moments, in all moments of life, regardless of what's occurring. How amazing is that? <laughs> so something I saw for myself before I met the training, when I met the training, was it's something that I could completely rely on in myself for the first time in my life, something that was reliable, that was, um, like my best friend, <laughs> you could say, with me in every single moment, always present, totally stable and clear, the nature of mind. And the terms we use in this training are very purposeful and very simple to make this recognition of the nature of our mind become apparent to us in the easiest possible way. And how we, the, the term for the nature of mind, the basis of your mind is open intelligence. And then we call all the thoughts and emotions data. All experiences, thoughts, emotions, anything you can perceive, the content of your mind. And so to introduce yourself to open intelligence, you just stop thinking for a moment. And notice what remains. <coughs> there we have it, openness, clarity. Alertness, the power to know, your power to know, awareness. Aware of me speaking, of you sitting in this chair. The power that's looking through your eyes, that's hearing these words. Open intelligence. And the next moment is not about maintaining no thought. In the next moment, thoughts come back in, or a sensation could be anything, sounds, the crows, <laughs> thought about breakfast, maybe you liked breakfast, maybe you didn't like breakfast. <laughs> and open intelligence remains, the power to know, the power to know those thoughts, what's aware of those thoughts, the knowing quality of you. You can see that open intelligence and the data streams are inseparable, like the colour blue in the sky. We can't know the data streams without open intelligence. And what the, the practice of the Balance You Training is for short moments to recognize open intelligence, repeated many times until it's obvious to you in every moment. And this is something that now you've been introduced to open intelligence, you can just take away with you, you can practice it right now. And the easiest, really simplest way is to simply relax mind and body. And for me in the beginning, I, it was, um, I could recognize the openness of my mind. That just always seemed obvious. There's an openness present. I don't need to make anything happen to make that the case. It's the most effortless, natural way of being, the most natural, basic state. And. Um, and so then that was my, I saw my short moments practice was like, okay, something arose. So it's a great thing to test in any circumstance. You know, we, maybe we suddenly feel agitation about a situation or someone coming to visit. And, uh, and what, what we have there is an opportunity. Now, b previously in my life when agitation would arise um, or frustration or annoyance, I would generally do one of three things. I would either indulge it, go into that thought or emotion, trying to work it out, what's happening, why is this coming up, who's to blame, am I to blame, da 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 da, -da. Maybe you know those. Or I'd try and replace it and not be agitated. Think positive thoughts. Think nice things about the person that seems to be the focus of my agitation because to have bad thoughts, negative thoughts, is not part of being a nice human being. <laughs> so that would be where my attention would go. Okay, quickly, 
move the data streams around, do something. Okay, now that's that's a good. That's okay. I I like them. I like them. I like them. I like them. <laughs> Just keep that in place. Ah, damn it, it's gone. <laughs> Because what we can see is our, our data streams are rising and resolving with no effort. Resolving, leaving no trace like a line drawn in space. Or just self-releasing like a knot in a snake with no effort. The thought you had a moment ago is gone. And another one comes along, inseparable from open intelligence. <coughs> and then the third, the third thing that we can do is avoid. So the negative thought comes up of agitation or not liking someone. I mean, I was a master at this one. It's like, <laughs> remove yourself. OK, so you're not even with the person. Take this scenario. You're not even with the person. This is me going down the street, by the way. Not even with the person. And you start thinking about being with this person that's going to annoy you. And then you think of how you can not be with them. <laughs> so then you maybe make a phone call not, or like, send a text, because that's even more avoiding. Like, Hi, um, yeah, I've got to do something else today, or I've got to, I don't know, I overslept, sorry. Avoid being there because it's going to make me feel too uncomfortable. And, um, and, and these, these are just, these are very, very common strategies for me throughout my life before being introduced to another way to use my mind, before being introduced to open intelligence, before being introduced to what's at the basis, what's pervading all experience. And what I can rely on moment by moment as data streams arise and see that they're completely inseparable from open intelligence and require no effort to self-release, to just be as they are, that they do not have the power over me that I thought they had. So resting mind and body, relaxing and relying on open intelligence, on your open intelligence, it's already available to you, it's completely present shining brightly right here, your power to know, resting mind and body, allowing the current data stream just to be as, so it, as it is. So practicing, we practice, we train up the open intelligence muscle and recognition. And so an agitation arising right there is our signal to completely relax rather than going into that data stream in a habitual way, using our mind in that way, test it out and see because when I tested it out, it was just like, I was like, oh my God, this is how I want to live, basically. This is so cool. This is absolutely brilliant. Like, relaxed nature of mind present. No need to get in there and try and fix the data, change things. In a moment of open intelligence and allowing data streams just to be as they are, we have clarity on a situation. Rather than being focused in on all the data streams and describing and labeling and trying to fix ourselves or others. Relax completely for a short moment and right there we have the capacity to see what will be of benefit in every situation in a very clear way. And so this is what the, the gift of this training is, training up open intelligence to really see how we can contribute beneficially in every moment with our speech, body, everything, qualities, behaviors, so in that way, with your, your question is a brilliant question. And to test out, because what I've seen for myself is like relying on open intelligence, there's just this unavoidable, obvious wish to be of benefit. So, and that's really at the basis of everything. And so, um, I'm just gonna... Yeah, so we see that we can al allow, so thoughts that have just always felt so damaging or too powerful, something that I would have to act on or I'd be hurt by, we see they're inseparable from open intelligence, resolving on their own, like the flight path of a bird in the sky. And what becomes more and more obvious is the presence of open intelligence within that data stream. And that's incredible to see, and we can show ourselves in this very moment. And then we see that really, all we want to do is be of benefit in that situation. It's a very powerful practice because it shows us our power. <laughs> it shows us a choice in every moment that we have, every single human being, to not be a victim to our thoughts and emotions or any situation where we can actually act powerfully for the benefit of all. And this for me, it, for this training, it was like, wow, I want that. 
I want to live like that all the time. <laughs> not just when I'm feeling good, not just when I'm having a good day and I feel like I can contribute to people. You know, it used to definitely be like that, waking up in the morning and feeling like, yeah, this is a good day, I'm on top of it, you know, <laughs> like heading out and like being able to look people in the eye and feeling like engaged and wanting to be of service or be of benefit and then having a bad day. I feel like I just want to retreat and not be like engaging with people, someone's to blame. And now with the practice of short moments and with the support of the Balanced View training, see that there's a powerful choice in every moment to align with our beneficial capacity, which is the power of open intelligence. And that's right here. That's right here. It's right here in the shining forth of all experience, all data streams inseparably. And we, we just settle into the recognition. That's what the Balanced View Training supports us in. Through a practice, through trainings, through a trainer, a community, everything together brings about this recognition. Whatever pace it is for us, perfect, perfect. Whatever data streams come up for us in our life are perfect. That right there is our training ground. And all sorts of things will come up in life and knowing what we can rely on, a stable basis of open intelligence is an immeasurable, inconceivable gift. And uh, so my invitation is to test it out completely for yourself.